High in the upper regions of our land, through northern mists, another day breaks. But to Ghana, this morning is set apart from other mornings. This is Kulungugu Day. Led by the regional commissioners for the northern and upper regions, Mr. Bawumia and Mr. Asunda, thousands of Ghanaians in cars, buses, lorries, bicycles, and on foot, set out from Baku on the road to the tiny village of Kulungugu. Seen a year ago of the outrageous bomb incident against Osajipo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and the peace-loving people of his land. To mark Osajipo's fateful escape from the hands of his assassins and the tragic loss of many innocent lives in other bomb incidents, it was decided that Kulungugu Day be observed every year as a day when the forces of neo-colonialism were defeated by providence and justice, and a day of triumph for Osajipo, his socialist pattern of life, and our stand for African unity. The village itself has become a political mecca, and to the spot come this impressive procession of thankful thousands. Chanting and singing party songs, the commissioners lead their followers to the actual scene of the first outrage. Gathered round the exact spot where the bomb exploded, libation is poured by the Atuga of Kusasi, and prayers of peace are offered at the site which once knew death and destruction. To a hushed audience, Mr. Bawumia spoke about the innocent victims who laid down their lives on the spot, and that a fitting monument will be erected in their honor. One who accompanied Osajipo on that fateful morning was Mr. Asunda, who referred back to the events which led to the bomb attack. Osajifo had come to Kulungugu, where he was met by President Yamiogo of the Upper Volta. Together, the two statesmen traveled to Tenkodogo, where their historic meeting took place. It was on his return journey home that the attempt on the President's life was made. Miraculously, Osajifo escaped injury, but 70 villagers did not. On his triumphant return to Accra, Osajipo was greeted by one of the biggest crowds ever seen in the capital. Thousands upon thousands of men, women and children came to give thanks for his safe deliverance. Even amidst the jubilation, traitors were plotted. However, justice conquers evil, and in time, those who sought to spread destruction and fear in the land were themselves sought out and brought to justice. And so it is that today, when peace, progress, and prosperity fill the land, that Kulungugu is remembered. Gone is the fear, and in its place comes happiness. From the village to the city of Accra and at the Young Pioneer Center, a grand dance is organized to round up the day's activities. While the Red Spots play the music, the dancers provide the highlight.
big attraction at this dance is the crowning of Miss Kulungugu. And the first beauty to win this coveted title is Miss Salome Ajeti Ajin. And so a year passes, and the first Kulungugu anniversary is observed by Ghanaians everywhere. A day that symbolizes the joy of our people over a dark phase in our new history.